Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 2055, Wednesday, February the 7th, and this is uh, kind of a special video. We're on my friend Nick's account, and uh, so Nick reached out to me a week or two ago and was like, hey man, um, I've never done you know any kind of takeover before, and honestly, I don't really want to, but... Uh, I like what you're doing. I'd like to support you and the channel. So, you know, I just thought I'd reach out and, and see if we could figure something out. So we kind of talked about it and discussed and decided that, um, you know, what, what he asked, what, what he'd like me to do is just to kind of um, re-gear some of his most well-rounded champs, right? We didn't discuss who that would be or anything, just kind of look at the gear, look at the champs, and kind of decide which ones would be the most useful in all content, but not to, you know, clear anything or anything like that. So uh got on the account and uh, looked around and was like, man, I think we can, um, in my head, I'm like, we need to bring this account up to speed. And, um, you know, Nick was trying to do me a solid, just supporting me. So I want to return the favor. So I reached back out to him and asked him if he would mind if I cleared some content for him while I was in here free of charge. So um, he said that was okay. So I figure I'll just, um, anything that I can clear easily with what he's got without, you know, spending hours trying to like min-max a team or whatever, I'll clear it for him, uh, kind of bring his account up to speed, and then I'll re-gear re the champs that uh, that we originally discussed. Um, just kind of, you know, he's helping me, I'm helping him. So let's see what we got. Let's go to our gear raids. Gear raid rule one, we are on stage 15. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, Morgan, Boreas, Lassier. I'm just going to start this. I haven't touched any of the gear. I don't know how anyone's geared. We're just going to use what we have. And then if it fails, then I'll go look at the gear. We got Dolores. Valkyrie putting in work. I'm just gonna, uh, I probably should have actually like set up a full team, but race is so strong. I love it. So the thought process here, right? Boreas, um, Really, really strong AOE damage. Valkyrie does AOE damage from behind the wall. If you're if you're still you know in this kind of range on your account, also. So I've got some some AOE damage that is protected. Some AOE damage. Oh, Brace is taking a hit there. Let's get some heals going. Um, I wasn't paying attention, and Mari died. That's okay. That uh, that Rider boss thing. That's new. That was not. That was not a thing when I cleared this. And the ballista things in the back too. Man, that's cool. New stuff. Dolores will increase the attack for Boreas so that he can just melt the map. There we go. All right, 15 down. I think um, for the next one, I'm actually just going to go fiddle with their gear, with like this team's gear, and I'll just run through probably 18. The team's good enough for 19, If, uh, but, but if we're on 15, we probably don't have the gear to do 19. So we'll just see attack and attack bonus. Could be a Dolores piece. Let's see. So let's go. Let's go to our Dolores. How are you geared? Ooh. Um, so she is six star, awaken five, uh, almost a max keen wisdom, but your attack, damage taken, and rage regen. 
Okay, so we've got a bunch of legendary pieces. Her attack is only 4,900. So for Dolores, Dolores' is big thing, uh, if you're watching this and learning from like the gearing aspect, right? Her big thing is putting out inspiration, which gives additional attack to everyone around her in her range. Um, so her primary purpose in this world is to have the highest attack possible so that she can give more attack to the people around her because her inspiration gives a percentage of hers. So crit damage doesn't do anything. Defense bonus, HP bonus, none of that matters. So we want something that has attack percentage with an attack flat stat. Let's see what we got here. We've got Lily. Lily's wearing that. I'm just going to take it. It's not a great piece. If it had crit rate, I would just use it on a DPS champ, but it doesn't. So let's see what we got. Here's Zealous. That's got crit rate. I'm going to use that for DPS. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Hey, Nick. All right, so don't use his gems. That's what he said. We won't use your gems, Nick. I'm going to move me over here for right now. Um, okay. I'm going to use just a little bit of gold. 12 doesn't cost very much. I won't touch your gems, though. There we go. And then same thing. We want attack bonus with attack flat. I want to use the ones with a crit rate sub for my DPS champs, though. Maybe that one. It also has Rage Regen. Sweet. On the left side, we want a Calamity set. For the weapon, we need Attack Bonus. Our, our full, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What we have here, Attack Bonus, Attack Bonus. That's not much. There we go. No crit rate. I'll use that. And then, if possible, we want Attack Bonus and Attack on this guy. That's got crit rate. No crit rate, but I'll probably use that. It's got crit damage, crit rate. Ooh, nice. I like it. Okay, this could be good. Take it to eight. Yeah, we'll use that. That's good enough. We're not trying to make something perfect. So she went from having uh, what, four or 5,000 up to 10,000. So that is a really, really big difference. Now, the primary DPS that we're going to use for gear raid one is going to be Reyes, how are you geared? We have 11k attack, 83% crit rate, 282. Okay, so we've got crit damage with crit rate. Nice ancient piece. We will leave that. Attack speed, no. Let's get more attack with a crit rate sub. Let's see what we got. Crit rate and flat attack. Crit rate, attack, speed, attack. Yeah, let's use that. And then, what's this? That's crit damage, so... There's another attack bonus. I, I think optimally I want some crit damage, but... Okay, we don't have another... I'm not going to roll those to 16. So, let's just take this. We'll put our best stuff stuff on him, and then we'll see if maybe there's an annihilating might set that we can use. Crit rate and attack bonus. There we go. And then crit rate, attack bonus, and crit damage. There we go. Okay, so now we're up to 14.6, crit capped with 264. So more attack, more crit damage, and crit capped. Attack speed, 286. That ain't bad. So, whoops. Let's see what we have for heals. Gear, 22. We're at 35k. Healing effect, HP bonus, HP bonus. Uh, are we good enough for right now? Good enough for right now. Okay, so we got Dolores and we got Boreas built out. Those are the big ones. This is going to be comical. Same setup. I should have checked the hollow, see if she's built enough to actually uh, give Rage Regen.
All right, Boreas. Now that we've built you, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Everything it hit died. I love it. I love it so much. Just in case you can do raid regen. Does he have a laurel? Oh my gosh, that would make that this so much better. We'll check that next. We will check that next. Alt, alt, alt. Melt the map, Boreas. I love it. Yeah, I'm get you through 18. Start getting you only red gear. That will make a huge difference for farming gear and breaking into the 19s. Just like that. Okay. Too easy. Too easy. For the next one, I'll see if he has a Laurel to boost Rage for, for Berea so he ults even faster. Okay. No, thank you. Seventeen. Do we have Laurel? We do, but she's not five star. So she needs that fifth promotion in order to boost rage upon death. So in the meantime, do we have uh, an esotericist lord? We do have Raiden. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I also. Okay, let's uh, come on, Narvi, get out of here. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. 17. So same concept, right? Um, so if you're trying to clear this for the first time, uh, biggest thing is AOE mages, obviously any of them, right? Whether they're epic or legendary, you don't need them. You don't need them to be legendary, excuse me. But if you can, uh, if you probably won't have a full team of AOE mages, right? So a combination of ranged marksmen behind the wall and AOE mages doing damage to everyone else in front of the wall. You can also, like he had Oleg on the team, right? You can use a strong tank up there. That'll prevent a few from attacking the wall and it will slow down the wave's ability to penetrate and help even more. But the biggest thing is just AoE mages. If you build one good AoE mage with uh, high attack and crit capped and try and squeak in some, some crit damage, you can blast through gear rates up to 19. Especially if you have Boreas. I love it. So if you don't have a Dolores built, if you have a Dolores, if you have pulled her and you have not built her, absolutely build her. She should be your next six star. You should be using your Epic Awakening crystals on her. Um, skill her up as fast as possible. Dolores, crit rate and attack bonus. Nice. That could be useful. Dolores will enable you to clear so much content that you otherwise couldn't. I I wish I would have known about that when I first started the game those first couple weeks trying to understand how to play everything. Um, oh my goodness, that would have been ugh, a godsend if I understood how big of a difference Dolores' inspiration boost is. Builder, if you've got her. So this is 18. This is probably where we're going to end. 19 is a big jump from 18. Um, could this account beat 19? Um, maybe. There's a Boreas and a Lassier. Um, I, I bet 
I, I bet there's a decent likelihood the account could clear it, but it would probably take some additional time and tweaking. And I'm just I'm just fast clearing the stuff that he can definitely do just to kind of get him up to speed. And if we can get up through all of the 18s, 18 is a big milestone. You guys, if you're still working on progressing up to stage 18, oh, Boreas got nuked. The ballistas are stronger on this round. That's right. I'm not worried. Oh, it's because I forgot to put down hollow. <laughs> I was too busy talking. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. I bet we're still good. I bet we're still good. Watch this. I just have 20 seconds until, oh, maybe not. They're taking that thing down fast. How embarrassing. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a second wall. There's a second wall. Come on. Show me what you got, Boreas. I don't think he's quite, is he? Oh my gosh, he's so strong. I don't know how anyone is built. We'll just, that is, Boreas is so strong. Oh. Mario will make the, the boss take more damage. Also, I cannot believe they completely broke through that. I didn't have anyone, and Berea still just nuked the entire map. It's great. I love it. Okay, 18 done. I will do one run on 19 just to give Nick some feedback on like how close he is without doing some, some big tweaks. Ah, maybe with a crit rate main. There we go. But 19 or 18 is the big one. So let's see here. Yeah. You know what? I won't. I've I've done. I just did four runs on gear raid one. You are probably very sick of that. Let's go to gear raid two. Uh, we're on 18. So, OK, I don't remember how these stages you have elder. Oh, my gosh. I don't remember how these stages are set up um, before 19 through 21 on gear raid two. I really don't um, on any of them. It's been a while. Let's just, we've got Medan, we've got Vortex, and we've got Hollow. We have three healers. I'm going to take Hollow out. Throw Dolores in there. I don't even remember how. Okay, so he is a roly poly. Okay, so this is the same map layout as 19 through 21. No, it's not. It's a little different. Start doing some damage. So we've got the earthquakes. We do not have the shrieks, though, right? Okay. Okay, so I need more heals. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. I don't know how anyone is built, so I might need to go check that. I'll do this one where I'm actually paying attention and healing Boreas. Then we'll go from there. I'll probably just need to gear. Because I checked Vortex. He was good enough. I'll probably just need to put some gear on Medan. That's probably it. Let's see how we're geared. Or I can throw. OK, that might be what I do. Let's well, let's check the gear. Let's uh, 
some legendary sets. You're only five star. Do we have any six star heals? No, we don't. Ezrin. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to bring Vortex down here, make him a little bit stronger, and then we are going to get rid of you and add some I thought there we go Volca she's level one don't care she's awakened one that's what matters that means I have faster um, respawn time so this is what we will do I'm going to see if I place Vortex down first, if he can get his ult up before that smash. It's going to be close. If he can. Okay, so he's got a shield. There we go. Stacking shields. There we go. I was able to stack at that time and it worked. So let's get you. I'll need to check Elder also. Narvi. Okay, so I don't have time for Vortex's ult this time. Uh, I have Medan's ult. That's going to be close, though. We'll see. We'll see. There we go. There we go. I don't think Elder has any gear on. He's just he's just dying the second he gets hit. Does Narvi actually have gear on? I'm just going to need to build a second tank. Boreas doesn't have time to build his ult. Okay. Okay, so I can't just rely on Boreas because he's not building his ult fast enough. And I don't have Laurel to boost his rage. So to solve that problem, we'll do one quick run. We want 18s, so we want some fighters, right? So, Narvi, get out of here. Get out of here. Medan. Gear. Healing effect. HP bonus. Healing effect. Let's go. HP bonus. Attack speed. Okay, he does have that on. This could be good. Okay, that's something. Place. HP bonus. Attack speed, rage regen, HP. There we go. Place. Okay, get some 12s. And then HP and HP bonus on the chest. Ideally, we want a healing effect. Okay. 
Okay. Place. And then we can't do HP on the chest. HP defense. Is that Oleg? Alora? Okay. Why are... We'll get there. Healing effect. Defense. HP percentage. There we go. Alright. That will help a lot. And then we want... Who do we have that is six star that can help here? We've got Valk. Uh, Brokir is... Okay, let's build him. Defense bonus with HP bonus. So if you are relatively new to this game and you're gearing your folks, uh, stats over sets. Remember that. You want to prioritize the right stats for your champ over getting a complete set. I don't know if, if Nick put these sets on because they all have like full legendary sets. I don't know if he did these sets or if the game like auto quick equipped it, but you want to make sure that you have the right stats regardless of if it makes a complete set or not. Optimally, as you progress further, you want good stats and good sets. But in the beginning, the stats are way more important in order to help you clear content. So I might keep that just because we're probably limited on options. So let's do a HP percentage with a defense. Rage regen, defense bonus, healing effect, defense bonus, defense bonus, and defense. Let's check that one. And I don't want to build too much stuff, right? Because we've got limited gold, obviously. That's Olag. Baron. Here we go. What do we have here? There we go. Okay. So let's see if we can get something with HP bonus and defense. Let's see if we can get some more HP. There we go. That's better. Gearing stuff up to 12 is really really cheap in this game that's got crit rate i'm gonna keep that if i need it on a dps see if hp bonus and defense both there we go not great but better than what we had okay so now now broke here as a five star has sixty thousand health and five thousand uh defense that's much 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 better so he can help tank that right side and it will be much less of an issue. We also have Setrum and Razak here. Razak, that's that's fairly decent build. We've got 11, almost 12k, almost crit capped with a little bit of crit damage. I can just throw him in. Setrum is not crit capped. Um, ideally, we want... Um, we want them to be crit capped, right? just going to throw that there. Okay. All right. So let's try this again. Let's do, we did Medan. We did not do Elder, but we did Brokir. Let's, I'm going to replace you for Olag since Olag is six star. And then we did Marksman. Razak was decent. And hmm. let's get rid of Volca if we're not going to be swapping people all the time. Throw down a little extra DPS. Maul's really good. Ooh, Edril. Edril's a lot cheaper. How's she built? Uh, not terrible. Not great, not terrible. Let's use her because i'm really only doing one legitimate like run after thinking about a thing but i'm trying to get him up through the 18s if it's simple right let's do that why are you here morgan who are you helping we want 
rating for Boreas. Much better. All right, let's do that. This will be much better. So let's put Vortex down so that he can build his ult. Although, might not need to do that now with Medan. So let's do Brick here, see how he does. Oh yeah, cake. Cake, loved it. Need to get some attack speed on Vortex. There we go. That's better. Let's get some shields. And then... Oh, I should have placed them down one. Like, in line with Vortex, and then had... Valkyrie attacking from the side. That's what I should have done. That's all right. If this fails, I'll give it a single go next time. I'm unconvinced it will, though. Dan's ult, Vortex's ult, keeping everyone alive, staying alive. Let's throw her down because why not? I didn't even use Berets. Oh, they attacked the last person that was placed, not the first person. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm not even using people's ults. I would like some healing ults, though. There we go. There we go. And then the boss. There we go. Done. Sweet. 18 on gear raid 1 and gear raid 2. This is turning into a longer video than I planned, but that's okay. If you're if you're progressing, hopefully you find some value here. All right? And then 18 18 I think I already said this. 18 is the big one because on stage 18 18 is really big because that's where you start only getting mythic gear, only red drops which makes a huge difference for gearing your account because uh, the the yellow, purple, all of that gear, totally useless. Um, 19 is huge, but we're not quite there yet. Gear raid 3, oh man, we're on 16. Let's see what we got. So we have Eadril, she's maxed. Do we have a Lord? We do, we have Lunaria. Okay, so let's get rid of Navras. Let's throw Lunaria in there. Razak is already semi-built. Um, Theowin is good, but he's five-star right now. Um, Alora is really good. She's looks like she's six-star, but not fully promoted. I'm going to... Throw Cetrum in there, since we kind of looked at his stuff. I don't know if Brienne is built. She is six star though, so that's good. And then Boreas is an animal. I don't know why Morrigan is in all of these teams. I don't know. Let's get Raiden back for uh, Boreas. Boreas is still an animal in the earlier. I mean, he's he's an animal everywhere, but he he can still really really shine early on without too much difficulty. We can bring Kai down here. I don't know if he's built or not, but we'll see. And then we've got two heals. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I didn't put Dolores on the team. Oh, man. How embarrassing. Well, 
if this is a quick fail, then I will just add Dolores in. All right, so I think, if I remember correctly, 18. We start out with some mobs in the middle, just like 19 through 20, but then power will be enhanced over time, but then there's mobs on either side. Gradually increase attack power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I don't know if mobs come from the left or the right side first, so I don't want to place anyone. Right side. So let's get Razak down there. Okay. Pay attention, Jake. Someone on the left side, that would be perfect. Or Brienne, if she's ready to go. Let's see how we're doing over there. Do your thing. Boom. Explosions. Explosions everywhere. Bosses down. Left side, right side, everyone's down. Uh, I, Kai might need a little help over there. We're going to find out. Go. Got it done. Got Boreas to ult for this left side now. Doesn't look like we're going to need it, but... There we go. Done. All right. Sweet. 18s, gear raids 1, 2, and 3. All done. Uh, that'll, that'll help you out a lot, Nick. And then we're going to leave. Well, we'll see. Let's see where AMR is. Let's check. Oh no, that was only 16. Oh man. Oh, I was thinking you only needed one. Oh man. Okay. Let's do this again. Let's get, um, Dolores on the team. I used how was Kai built? He was doing decent damage, but that's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh there we go. That'll be good enough. I've got two heals. I don't need two heals. Let's get Dolores in there. We'll find a place to use her. Alright, let's do that. Let's do I should have put Cetrum first, actually. Let's do that. I want... Yeah. No, oh, maybe not. He's super strong. I want Dolores to help Cetrum ult to try to see if I can take out the boss much quicker. Razak down. Come on, Cetrum. Yeah. Oh, so close. Didn't quite get it in one. That's all right. Let's get you down over here. You'll be more useful there. There we go. We'll keep using Kai. You were doing decent work. You'll do it better now that you're crit, crit capped. There we go. And the boss will be down very soon. There we go. Done. So now I can actually pull them if I need to use them elsewhere. Now that I actually know how this match is set up. There we go. Right side. Left side. Uh, 
Oh, there's some mobs in the middle that I... Those two came in the middle that I did not know about. That's okay. That's what Hedral is for, right? Yep. Hedral got him. There you go. Global raid range. It's great. All right. 17, pretty easy. Now let's get 18 so that we can get all the gear raids to 18 for him. All right. There we go. Flat attack. No, thank you. We'll do the same thing. And lords, something else. If you're still watching after all this time and you're learning, right, progressing, lords make such a huge difference. Uh, it is it is massive. It really is. So if you get Dolores, build her. If you get Lords, most of them are less useful um, actually in combat. <clears throat> Excuse me, beating a match. But they are so useful to have in the team for the extra stat boosts and special skills. Wait on Cetrums. There we go. Start hitting that boss. Get Razak down. Let's get Eidrel in with Razak. There we go. Doing good. Two. Same concept. We get some AoE on each side. Get some nukes on the boss. I'm going to hold Eitril's ult until I know I need her. How is Razak getting hit? He shouldn't be, right? What happened there? What happened there? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. I missed it. That's what happens when you're going at two times speed. I'm going to use Dolores there in case I need to ult with Boreas, which it looks like I am going to need to. There we go. Clean it up. Clean it up. There we go. Well, that could have been a lot smoother, but hey, when when you miss stuff, you miss stuff. You got to adjust on the fly. That's all right. Was that 18? I think that one was 18. HP bonus. And defense. There we go. Is that 18? Yeah, look at that. You, sir, get a free legendary from the game. I can't wait to find out what that is. The selfish part of me wants to pull it for you and find out because I'm, you know, impatient. But uh, I, I'm excited for you, buddy. I'll take, I took a screenshot of it to send it to you. Let's see what we got for... AMR, where are we here? 14, how does it change here? It just increases, increases, increases. So we don't actually, it's not a huge difference until 18. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I don't think we're good enough for 18. I'm gonna leave it alone and uh, gear some of those champs, right? So for gearing, I already geared Dolores. I geared, let's see here, general champs, right? So for support, let's see who we have for support. I did Dolores, Vortex, Healing Effect, HP, HP. Um, I would, his healing effect is over 125 with 60. Yeah, that, I'd rather that be an HP bonus with attack speed. I want him healing faster. Yeah, you're not going to use Elder very much. And then ideally I want to complete this set. So I want HP bonus 
and HP. If I can do a life force, that would be great. And attack speed. Yes, I will use that, please. HP bonus healing effect. Okay, so yeah, so he Vortex is an HP based healer, so we want high HP. We want higher attack speed. The first hundred attack speed is the most important. That it cuts off like a third um, of your attack interval. So at least get a hundred attack speed when you're starting out gearing your folks. Healing effect is at sixty five. That's plenty decent for this phase where we're at. Okay, so we have um, a healer geared. We have Dolores geared. Uh, high attack, remember, attack percent mains and attack substats. You want as high attack as possible. Uh, another healer, so she's an attack-based healer. Ezrin, hollow, hollow, and she's A5. She's A5, what about her skills? And she's, okay. So yeah, you definitely want to use her. <sighs> kind of the tricky thing here, though, is that for hollow to really be useful, um, you kind of want her healing for less because her A1, each healing restores 1% rage of rage cap. So each time she heals, she restores some rage. So you actually kind of don't want her healing a lot. Um, but you want her to be able to survive whatever content she's in, right? So um, what does quick equip do right here? Attack goes up, attack speed goes up, healing effect goes up. Yeah, that's that's your your five star. Do your job of healing. Get into the more advanced stuff later. That's not too terrible. Healing effect, attack bonus, healing effect. Um, I would take one of these healing effect. That has good attack speed though. Attack speed, attack. And leave them. Uh, leave them for now. That's that was that was a. One of the better quick equips. Gear on Valkyra. Okay, so big thing here. We've got decent attack, right? 13.7k, but she's not crit capped. So we definitely, and she's got a crit rate main. So we've got crit rate there. We don't have crit rate there. So let's see if we can find something with attack percent main. Edril's got a good one, I'm sure, but we want her for, yeah, you're, you're not getting used. There we go. So now we've got her up over uh, about 14k attack, plus she's crit capped. Crit capping your, your folks makes a huge, 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 huge difference in, in damage output and capability. Last thing we want to see if we can get a set over here. Let's see if crit rate, annihilating might. What do we have? Laura. We're not really using you. And then crit rate, attack bonus, crit damage. Ooh, that's a good piece. That should actually go on Boreas. But I'll, I'll, I'll use it here. Uh, 120 crit rate because you have a crit amulet right there. Or a, a bangle, excuse me. Um, so with that being the case, I'm going to say we don't need crit rate. Let's get some crit damage. Crit damage, crit rate. Crit damage attack bonus, but not till 16. Crit damage attack bonus at 16. Crit damage attack bonus. There we go. 12. Mm. Not great. Um, but if we don't need crit rate for you, then we could just get some attack instead. What was... What does it have? Just crit rate. Yeah, let's get attack instead. Attack bonus crit rate and attack speed. I don't want to use all of your gold. I don't want to use hardly any of your gold. But you don't really need crit rate. Attack bonus, attack bonus, attack bonus, and attack speed. So you don't, uh, not great, but save the crit rate since you're since since she's wearing the crit rate bangle. Save the the weapon with the crit rate sub for someone else who needs it. So she's crit capped. She's got 
really good attack, and now she's doing a little bit of crit damage. So she will do much better in all content in general. We already built Boreas. Um, definitely going to be our best DPS. Morgan, uh, your your six star. Uh, I, I I bet that's why he had her in all of his teams because she was uh, she's a she's a fully built six star legendary lord. How's her skills? Oh, maxed out her skills too. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, she's not very useful in like content. Good as a lord. Great for gear raid one less good for general content, which is what we're referring to, right? Um, let's, what'll this do? No, where is she right now? She's not, she doesn't have any crit rate. Some crit rate there, not enough. So if we were to build her, because we're talking for general content for, uh, she's one of his few six stars. We would build her for damage. So we will do that. And, you know, if there's a different DPS that you're going to use for different content, just gear swap. Um, so crit rate there is at 14 and a half. We'll see. Crit rate. Do we have an attack percent main? Zealous. Yep. Adriel. Cerberus. There we go. That is better there. AoE damage. I don't have Morgan. Does she do AoE? She has three targets. So if we can get... What is that? Sticks? Yeah. Crit rate. Kai. Attack speed. Oh, it would give us the set, but nope, nope. Stats over sets, guys. Stats over sets. Decent crit rate. Could be better crit rate. Okay. And then we want more crit rate over here. And let's see if we can get her. She has a lot of attack there. So realistically, let's get... Do we have anything with attack speed and crit rate? There's something, but it's not... Attack bonus, attack speed. It's just got low crit rate. 13... There we go, 24. We need more crit rate. And that is a Calamity piece, so we'll complete the set. What do we have here? Not very good. There we go. Okay, so not quite crit capped, but 96.5 with uh 15k attack so she will do much 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 more consistent damage now and she's got a little bit of crit damage to boot so we got one two three four five champs built there cerberus also very good get that sixth promotion promotions make a big difference in stats guys uh general content so we're talking about general stuff so for we did we did supports right we did vortex Hollow and Dolores. So there's three there. What about mages? Got Morgan and Boreas. There's five. Here's a good one. Mari, if you're going to use her, she's very useful in general content. If you're going to use her, she doesn't do damage, but the thing that she does really, really well um, is she attack triggered icicles inflict slow upon the target for an extended duration meanwhile targets inflicted with slow by mari will receive vulnerability physical and magic so when she attacks people she slows them crowd control and she makes them take more physical and magic damage um such a good champion such a good champion and she's max skilled so with that being the case she doesn't put out damage she's there for crowd control and she's there um to provide those debuffs right so you want her attacking as fast as possible and her ult is phenomenal cast a blizzard for six seconds dealing aoe damage whatever she's not there for damage but she freezes everyone for four seconds um and it only has an 1100 cost that's not an only 
but it builds really fast when you have her attacking really fast. So we we don't want her built for damage. We want something that she boosts. There we go. Restores 5% rage for every 5 attacks. So the more she attacks, the more rage she builds, the more often she can ult, the more she can crowd control everyone. So let's build her out. So we want, ideally, we want rage regen and attack speed for a substat here. Let's see what we've got. There's a crit rate main. We don't want that. Uh, attack bonus, rage regen. There we go. We want to be able to roll them in the first 12. Uh, it's cheap, but there's there's something. Not perfect rolls. The second one, uh, the amulet. We want an attack speed main, ideally with rage regen sub. We'll see what we got. Attack speed with rage regen. Yeah, let's take that. And then we want the opposite on the ring. We want rage regen with attack speed. That one goes to 16. That one's at 12. That one's at 8. That one's at 4. All right, so we'll start with cheapest. Um, there we go. Yeah, and then we'll take it to 12 to get the extra rage regen. So that way she's ulting more often. And then over here, there's no... Nothing with attack speed there. We should be able to get some whirlwind, something with attack speed. That's at 16. This one's at 8. That's not a great stat. What do we have here? Oh, man, I should have checked that first. Yeah, Azoth doesn't need that. And then we won't get attack speed, but we're still under whirlwind. Can we get rage? No. Okay. And so here, it literally doesn't matter. We can just put it on. Um, if she's dying in the stage, then yeah, find her something with some, with some tanky stats there. But now she's got an attack speed of five, three, eight attack interval of every one second and every, instead of every two seconds. So she's attacking very quick and 63 extra rage regen. She's going to be, um, putting out massive damage, massive damage. Okay. So we got one, two, we got three mages. We got three supports. We marksmen. Marksman, we got Razak, and we got Setrum. Setrum we'll actually look at. We'll actually crit cap him, see if we can after everyone else. Crit cap. No, attack bonus. Okay. It's not a 12%, 14 and a half. Twelve percent there. Crit damage by chance. Thirteen and a half. It's at twelve right now. More again. Fourteen. Eleven and a half. He needs attack speed badly. He's got 15. He's got attack speed and attack bonus on that. The one he's wearing is better. Attack speed, crit rate. Yeah, the one he's wearing is better. Okay. He still needs some more. 16 and a half there. 21 there. Not crit capped at all. We need more crit rate on those two. They're only 14 and a half and 13 and a half. That's only 15. Man, none of them are good. None of them are good. But we used our best ones. So if we're talking about general content, honestly, um, what we would do here, because he's built relatively decent, right? He's got his attack, he's got some crit damage, he's got 80% crit rate, but he is far more useful in general content than Morrigan. So we would just take her set that we already built, get him the extra attack, get him the rage regen, and get him closer to being crit capped. That way he's more useful in general content. But now his attack speed is super low. So we need some help there. We need to get it at least over 100, right? So that drops us down to 93 and a half, but we're over 100 attack speed. That way his attack interval drops down a full second to two and a half. What do we have for an artifact? There we go. So we got one, two, our top two, three, and Edril, right? 
9K, good attack speed, not quite crit capped. We've got a crit rate main, attack speed, attack bonus. Let's see if we can get this to be attack bonus with crit rate and attack speed. Is there anything we got here? What'll that do? It gets us crit capped. It gets us a little bit more attack and it gets us crit capped. It drops our speed down a little bit though. So let's see. Attack speed. Yeah, we'll drop just under crit. And let's see here, we might be able to get some more attack speed here. Kai has it. Yeah, you're more useful than Kai. There we go. There we go. Let's actually just make you better. Let's just make you better. Crit rate at 12, 16. Eighty percent. There we go. Ninety one and a half. All right, so there we go. All right, so there we go. Now we got more attack, ten six, and we got crit cap. We got a little bit of crit damage. And we got our attack speed up a little bit more, much better. And we have Idril's Gaze on, perfect. All right, so one, two, three, three marksmen. Tanks. So for tanks, you basically want two HP percent mains and one defense percent main uh, with opposing substats, right? So for your HP percent main, you want defense percent substats. Um, you want really high HP, you want really high defense. So we did that for Brook here for. Uh, Olag, he's already built like that, right? We looked at it, HP, HP, HP. Um, the only thing here that we should probably look at is uh, if we can get a decent set here on the left side of like a uh, life force. There we go. Then not great, but we get our set seventy eight K, six K. That piece was really good. It's better. There we go. Now we're up 80k and 6k. Okay, that's better. That is better. Whenever the hero loses shield resource, yeah, that works for Olag. All right, so we got two tanks built. What else we got? Fighters. Last one. We did Valkyrie. I don't know if we can I don't know if we can build another DPS here. We'll try one. We'll try one. At this point, you would just be swapping sets between DPS characters that you have, depending on the, the content. So let's see if we can find another DPS set. We might need to branch out and actually do a crit rate main at this point. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so Cerberus has that one on. Um, for general content, I would say. Abomination is more useful than Cerberus. Cerberus has like niche uses and he's really powerful late end game once you can really build him up. But early game progression, general content, abomination, kind of dual hats as a as a tanky fighter. So he's more useful. So let's take that crit rate and then let's get attack percent.
Let's see if we have a crit damage one. Attack bonus, attack speed, attack, crit rate, attack speed, attack bonus. Let's use. Oh no, I just took that off of Morgan. Oh man. I'll go put that back on her. And then. You get crit rate plus 10 for the set, so I'll need something with crit rate. His attack is at 14k right now. Let's see if we can get some crit damage. There we go. There's that 10% crit rate. And we don't need any more crit rate, but there we go. The quad sub, yeah. Crit rate, crit damage, attack bonus. There we go. All right, so we are definitely crit capped. I don't need the crit rate on that. Attack bonus, crit damage. There we go. Attack speed, crit damage, attack and crit damage. Can I get attack speed? There we go. There we go. That'll be better. Attack went down a little bit because this is leveled to 12 instead of 16, but overall that'll be a better piece. So we have we got our attack speed up 150, crit cap, a little bit of crit damage, attack at 13.5, much, 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 much better. Okay, and then I got to fix more again, so we have two fighters. Give her her piece back. There we go. Well, this was a very long video. Um, did a lot of content, talked a lot about progressing through stages and different things you want to think about, right? And geared a bunch of champs at the end. So this was definitely more of a, uh, you know, beginner friendly type video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, if you need any help whatsoever, um, hit me up, leave a comment, join the Discord server, and I'll help you as best as I can. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.